On the table today at Squirrel Stampede Ninja Legends from Dev Series, the Ninja Legends Valley. What an interesting set. If I am not knee deep in Bakugan Roblox, I'm over jumping up clouds in Ninja Legends. I wonder how many Ninja Legends it would take to take down a mega super noob. No ninja can take down super mega noob. We shall see about that. <laughs> Henderson! No! How dare you! Ah! My boys! My boys! You've defeated my boys! The sensei will now seek revenge! Ah! Oh, come on, guys! It's just a simple matter of leverage! Ninja Square will show you how it's done! Ninja Square will be the Ah, oh, that many, I can see that going. So we've got a pretty interesting dev series multi-pack with a lot of interesting stunts to work with our Ninja Legends. We had checked out Ninja Legends a few years ago too, before they kind of rebooted into dev series. So we'll, we'll kind of mix and match and see what everything does. I mean, really, Snake Eyes is the only true ninja. I wonder if they could take him out too. Okay, Gray Ninja Team, remember your training. Do not take long, begin the attack. Because if you take too long, Snake Eyes will take you all down simultaneously. So the trick, my sons, is to engage in battle as fast as you can. Prepare your swords and engage on my mark. One. Two. Three. Oh, for goodness sakes, just let the Ninja Squirrel take this one, too. It's all simple leverage. I thought so. Snake Eyes is too powerful, right? So pretty good set for us to run through. Lots of Ninja are on the table to share in the experience. So follow through as we build up this dev series, Ninja Legends Valley. Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, and a Squirrel Live. Maybe the grandest of action sets from Dev Series would be Ninja Legends, the Ninja Legends Valley Pack. Do you like the Dev Series Ninja this way? Or do you like the Dev Series Ninja this way? This is our second review of a Ninja Legends Pack from Jazzwares, only now Dev Series. I still have mixed emotions about the new style figure look. They're a little more exaggerated in proportions. But in a way, sometimes they play a little better than the past. So, you know, I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of liking them. Uh, there's the Apprentice and Blazing Elemental with a couple dragon bunnies in pack. Feels like they scaled down just a little bit so you could fit a little more in an action pack. I mean, I still have this giant Jojo from the original Ninja Legends pack. It's awesome. It's huge. It may be just a little too huge. So Dev Series has some refinement. Really good price point I found with this set though. $29.99 found over at Target with lots of stuff jammed in here. The two figures included with their pets, but also some structural elements like this great waffle door that opens and explodes open with a zip line, I believe. Or is that a clothes hanger? And then a waterfall structure thing, some weaponry and a few other elements to brighten up your Ninja Legend City. In today's highly inflated world, I thought that was a pretty good price point at 30. So how do we do this? Shake this up a little bit, get things out. One, two, three, right? Oh, oh my, that's a lot of stuff. Something tells me we are about to go golfing. What's with all these greens? There's some Ninja Legends Valley instructions for us, but plenty of interesting things inside this pack to keep us busy. Wow, it looks more than it looks like on the package. What do you think, Zane? How does how does this thing work? It's like a waterfall rock. Lever on back. <gasps> Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! That's a fun piece. There's our waffle door, I like to call it. It looks like an Eggo waffle. I've been having too many of those, apparently. I think that's gonna sandwich down on this line right there, maybe. Oh, sorry. We got a fighting dummy. I think that's what this is. We'll just install now. Maybe this goes in here. Oh yeah, and then we'll place our figure and we'll have a fighty dummy. This was last time, but this is this time. Here's the scale difference of Dev Series. Kind of fun to have an extra one of those. Some of these interesting cog towers. They look like water maybe. Uh, maybe they lift up the islands. There's a lot of jumping 
a lot of jumping in Ninja Legends, and a lot of falling too, a lot of falling. A ring to jump through to get your chi, or is it chai? What is it? Chi. Oh, look at this piece. It's got good texture to it. It's just like a little whoosh, whoosh. That's probably gonna snap onto this, actually, right? Well, that probably goes to this piece. Uh, we'll figure that out in a minute. Where are the figures? There they are. I guess maybe the only fault of this set is only two figures. A third or fourth would have kind of helped, but if you hunt through the Dev Series diamond boxes like we did earlier in the year, you'll find some other characters to decorate your Ninja Legends team. There's our common gray ninja and our Ninja Master also available. And also, also available out there, there is this single pack of, uh, who is this? The Cybernetic Azua Sensei. Hoo hoo, we'll check that out in a little bit. And I suppose this Cobra Kai Johnny Lawrence will fit in too, right? That's ninja enough. As for the figures, still trying to navigate if I like them or not. Sometimes they're really fun. They have this good reach to them with their arms and they've got some pretty good articulation in those legs and knees. They stand well with a pretty good footprint at times. Their head's a little oversized, which I'm not a fan of. Sometimes they've got some good face prints on them though. I like that. And I think they hold on to their weapons fairly well. There's several weapons in this pack. If I can hold on to them fairly well, that's the question. So, you know, they're growing on me. I think maybe what I miss about old Jazzwares Roblox is you got a chance at having either kind of a roundy figure, uh, the new figure, or a blocky figure. I love me some old generation blocky figures. They were fun. So, you know, I kind of miss that a lot, having those double styles out there and the mix and match abilities. Kind of just miss being able to call it Roblox too instead of Dev Series, but that's enough of that. I've complained enough on that. All right, enough on that. Shall we build this? Shall we figure out what Ninja Legends Valley is all about? What do you think, Zane? Why do you keep asking me? Lots of instructions here. I'm glad they're helping us out with some instructions. I, I think there's two columns we have to navigate. Find the bases with these little circles. That's what we'll start with. Lots of ninja jumping here. Lots of prep work. But we got a couple island pieces. Are they the same? They're the exact same. So don't worry about getting those mixed up. And we will connect these column pieces, these air columns, these water columns, whatever you want to call them, onto the plates here. Oh, I thought Zane had more balance than that, sorry. I just wanted my uniform washed. And so let's try this one too. Got a couple of these. One is for the zip line, one is for the cloud assembly. Maybe I could try the simple cloud bamboo one first. So there's a cloud piece with a notch and we will go down the groove here, pick a nice spot for your cloud maybe halfway, almost halfway somewhere in there. That'll hold tightly. And there should be like a little level piece. Uh, is it this one or is it this one? They both have little notches. They're both the same, that's why. So I'll place this one on opposite side with the rock facing out. Oh, they kind of pop back out of the groove, don't they? So you gotta be a little bit gentle in the slide. There we go, a little spot to land on. And there's this cool bamboo piece right here. We'll add this to the top. This is something you would strive to jump up to and stick the landing. I kind of want the bamboo on the other side so I can like get to the green wedge. And really apparently you can do this however you want. In fact, I think you could take these bamboo light pieces. Yeah, you can unhook these. You could stack one twice as tall if you wanted to. By 20 of these sets, you might really replicate what's going on in Ninja Legends. Let's put this one back here and oh, we got to continue on this one. And so we will attempt to take this piece here and go on this side. Slide it down. This other notch, it might just plug into that, so hang on there. This will go up top your zip line. You've got a little hook up here. So kind of face that where you need to. And the zip line's funny. It's just like this big stick line. It's a stick line zip line. Okay, now we rearrange a little bit. We get the secret tunnel back out and we'll place on the water to the bottom. Oh, that looks so cool. That's one of the coolest pieces, just the way they painted in there. There's a gradient of white in the paint that looks so good, so sharp. Now we take our zip line assembly. I think this whole deal is to give this some weight so it doesn't fall over, right? So then this piece will slide into this piece. Ever so fragility, fragile. Oh. Okay, I found it easier to slide into the waterfall first, then slide it back onto this, because it wants to come off of this. 
One minute it slides like really slow and the next minute it just flies. Okay, got a level there, place this back on top, then do the other side. This is really fragile. It may pop out on me. And so this side also over here. Oh. This is the true test of a ninja legend, patience. Do you have patience? Patience in the dojo. Okay, uh, I'm good with that, it's holding. Let's just scooch this back here if I can. Watch out, ninja squirrel. This is the dojo area. Here's your sword, so squirrel of ninja. So this piece here, like earlier, I was trying to get the door on. Let's see if I can officially get the door on. It's just a slot. What's the front? Or that way? Or this way? I think it's the same on both ends. And if you wish, you can connect this lantern base over here. If you wish, you can connect this lantern base over here. If you wish, you can connect this lantern base over here. Finally, finally, kind of a notch in there. Okay, now comes the fun part. Do I have enough table space? Uh, hopefully. I'll slide this kind of over here as best as I can. Pull the door here, open the door. We've got this long stick line to throw on through the door. And attach up to here. Is it gonna be on top or is it gonna be on bottom? Uh, I don't know yet, I'll figure that out. And then there's a ball joint that goes into the lamppost. Top makes the most sense so it doesn't keep falling out. And then through the doors and then the ball joint onto right here, right here. Well, that works fairly well, it feels sturdy. Oh, and then close these doors because someone's gonna smash through those. And if you need to, you can reposition your cloud. I rotated my cloud one uh, setting so that I could just kind of do this a little more horizontal than, I don't know, instead of perpendicular from the waterfall, it's a little more angled. Now let's zip prep a guy. Did we see this one yet? Orange sleeves, red hood, Ugh, grouchy face. Probably because he knows I'm gonna make him wipe out on a zip line, isn't it? Yep. Well, that's your one duty in life, so stick to it. I think we have to put one hand on first. Since there already is a hook on top, we can just place both hands in without having to loop through the wire. Oh, whoa, the dude just crumbled apart in my hands. I'll just get him prepped here. Wow, I had a lot of trouble with that. These figures are certainly more dainty than they've been in the past. Arms falling off, hands falling off, but I got it on there. And I'm assuming this hook is going forward. You could, you could position that. I don't know, we'll figure out what's the better position, I suppose. And so now, our first line of zip. Okay, so we grab our figure and we will place him up here through the ring. Say he just jumped through the ring, got some chi, and is now falling to his doom. Here we go. Whoa, a little faster than I anticipated. Trying again, closing these doors. Maybe I hold back a little bit more this time. Here he goes, get him on the hook right there. And, and through the doors or just breaking his leg before the doors. Let's get off the squirrel helicopter for a second and just do this the old style, place his feet forward, maybe give him a little fun balance onto the hook. That worked pretty well that time. Kind of jammed up here in the door. Maybe kick his, both his feet forward. Like he's really ready to slam through those doors. Sliding up and there we go, into the lamppost, breaking both of his ankles. Ah! Yeah, those ankles are hurting, aren't they? Yeah! Well, that's kind of a fun action. Interesting they used a plastic stick for the line. It's, it's heavy, it supports the figure well. Maybe that's why sometimes if you do rope, you really have to make it taut so that it doesn't sag and the figure gets stuck. With it being a stick line, he's always gonna slide through. So, pretty well done there, it's pretty fun. As for the secret tunnel, let's pop this off for now so I can get, oh wait, there we go, okay. Get this out of the way and slide in our secret tunnel. Right now, Laloid is testing it out for us. I didn't see it earlier. There is a secret trap door. This uh, rock right here. I correct myself. This rock right here. Mm, I correct myself. Why are you torturing me like this? Oh, sorry, Laloid. Uh, maybe it's this one. <laughs> That's the one. So Lloyd has fallen into the secret tunnel, secret tunnel, secret waterfall tunnel. And to open that door, there was that latch in the back to rescue the Lloyd. So that's a fun little extra piece, one of the most functioning uh, feature clips I've seen in a while. 
And of course, this is just a good overall structure for displaying your dev series figures. A bunch of little islands on different levels is what I like for display. Got lots of scenery that figures into the game. I like it, I think it works really well. Oh, and then there's this practice dummy too. What does the practice dummy do? Let's get a guy on there, flip around. Where's our guy? It's uh, it's not this guy, this guy's old guy. This guy, this guy's Dev Series box guy. This guy, this guy came with the set. Placing him down, it doesn't matter. They're all gonna footprint down onto this little rotational pad. And now he can dance with this. There's a little twirly gear in the back there. And he can dance with this uh, guy. Well, not dance, let's say train. Uh, let's give this dummy a weapon, make it fair. Make it a little more fair. And then, yeah, there's some fairness. Can I can I see it better this way? So yeah, we can train all we want for more chi, chai, chi. It's gotta be chi. Chai is tea. Dum bum, boom, bum, bum, boom, bum, 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 fun. Ooh, he's got him good. Next slice. Well, is that everything? Uh, the pets. We forgot to look at the pets. Where's the pets? Funny, it's the pets that are sometimes the biggest draw with these sets. There's only two included. The previous one had like a ton. The old school Mega Pack had so many beasts. This is old. There's been a few others around. Oh, the rabbit. I love the fire rabbit. But this set only contains these two. The dark vampire bunny ninja. I forgot their names. And this golden dragon-like thing. I think I might have this in gameplay. I think I might be using this one. I haven't played in a long time. I loaded up the other day just to see what happened. And I had something like that following me around. This time around, they do have a little articulation though. We can flap their wings. I like that. I like that there's a little bit of play there. Uh, in the past, they've just been pretty solid. So a couple animal friends for you. And then you probably noticed there was several weapons. There was one of those, it's kind of pointy. I forgot the name, there was one of those, it's kind of pointy, I forgot the name. There was a sword, it was kind of pointy, forgot the name. And there was this wooden thing, it was kind of pointy, I forgot its name. Oh, and the virtual item super code is... A golden samurai helmet! Fancy! Oh yeah, we are gonna look at this figure too. So if you're looking for more Ninja Legends figures in the dev series style, there's the cybernetic Azua Sensei available. Let's get this one out. This might be one of the cooler Dev Series figures uh, yet. I like this guy a lot. Purple, very mechanical, very steel-like, awesome double-bladed sided weapon. Rotating hands works well in attack. Uh, obviously the same articulation as these guys typically have. Shoulders and hips and knees, uh, feet that rotate and uh, wrists. No helmet takeoff though. This would have uh, had extra points had we had like a robotic helmet underneath. So fun little dude though to add into your ninja fighting. Virtual item code for this one. Pretty good. And let's get Cobra Kai out here. Is it sad that I haven't really watched this series? I don't know much going on with it, but I kind of like this Johnny Lawrence figure to add in with your Ninja Legends. Feels like it fits perfectly. Uh, I like having several Ninja available. Now we got a Johnny Lawrence to pull from on the, ah, the table. Cerebral out. He's got this cool breakaway stuff. Oh, it's all breaking away. Oh gosh, on the floor. Can I even rebuild this poor guy? He got hit pretty hard. Hair pieces like to fly on this series. Heads are so giant. Okay, get his arm in there. They feel like for the most part, you can reconstruct them pretty well. This is what I like though. He got this cool little cinder block thing. It balances these two little fire pits on either side. I think we can connect the fire pits together. Oop and kind of balance precariously. And then Johnny can come by and like do this choppy, get his arm just right and uh, choppy. Oh, look at that, nicely done. That didn't hurt at all. Kinda did. And exclusive code for Johnny. Pretty good. So all in all, I enjoyed the goofery of this Ninja Legends Valley pack. There's enough to keep me busy for a while, especially the price point, 30 bucks. Target usually found gives you an afternoon of fun. A lot of ninja fun there. So that's the dev series Ninja Legends Valley. What do you think? I think it's been pretty fun. A, a good set overall. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, score live, squam it. You're a superior square watcher. If you wish to enter into the contest to win a t-shirt, plush, water bottle, something we'll figure out. Rules are there. Thank you again for watching. That's what I have to say about that.